This is the section 4.3 review, number one. Calculators are not allowed. We are given equations for the derivative of a function, and then we are asked to determine when f is increasing and decreasing. So if we look here, we know from our definitions of increasing and decreasing that f will increase when f prime is positive, and it will decrease when f prime is negative. And notice we are given f prime already. So our job is to simply write down when f prime is going to be positive and when f prime is going to be negative. And the only place that we will change sign is at the critical values on f. So that means we will need to be looking for when this is 0 and when this is undefined. Recall that we equal 0 when the top equals 0. And that's going to occur when x is plus or minus 3. But if I look at what happens when I plug 3 in, or negative 3, I get zeros, but anything else is going to come out as a positive number. So when we analyze the sign chart for f prime, we'll notice that the top is always going to be positive. Undefined will occur when the bottom equals 0 and that's when x equals negative 3. So we can now create our sign chart for f prime, and on there we will put a negative 3, we will put a positive 3. We have an undefined here at negative 3, and since it was a 0 on the top and the bottom, that's actually going to be a whole, and then we have a 0 at positive 3. If I choose numbers that are smaller than negative 3, I can see that the bottom will be negative and the top will be positive. If I choose a number between, the bottom will be positive and the top will still be positive. And if I choose a number bigger than 3, again, I will still have a positive on the bottom and a positive on the top. So we can see that f increases from negative 3 all the way up to infinity and I'm not going to include negative 3 because it's not in the domain, and f will decrease from z negative infinity all the way up to negative 3, and we're done. If we look at part b, again, we're going to do the same scenario. We want this to be 0 or undefined. It will be 0 when the top is 0 and that occurs when x is plus or minus 4. It'll be undefined when the bottom is 0, but exponentials never equal 0, so that never happens. Also, let's keep in mind that the bottom of this is always going to be positive, so the only sign changes are going to occur when the top changes sign. So again, if I do my sign chart, on that sign chart I will put a negative 4 and a positive 4, Prior to negative 4, say negative 10, this top number will be positive and the bottom is always positive. In between, say at 0, the top will be negative and the bottom will still be positive. And after 4, we will again have positives. So we can see that f is increasing from negative infinity all the way up to negative 4. And then we will pick up again and increase from 4 to infinity. Now notice on here that we have um, a choice here. Depending on how your book defines increasing and decreasing, some books will include the endpoints and other books will not. And I've seen it show up both ways on the AP exam. So you could have closed these negative 4 and 4 brackets and you'd still be correct. Same thing on the decreasing. We can say that f decreases from negative 4 to 4 or we could have done that with hard brackets. I think on the test this time, I've got soft brackets everywhere, so we'll just stick with soft brackets. Okay, last part, C. Same process. We need the top to be 0 or the bottom to be 0. When the top is 0, that only happens when x is 0. When the bottom is 0, that's cosine of x plus 2 has to equal 0. That means the cosine of x would have to be negative 2. Well, cosine can only get as small as negative 1, so that's never going to happen. So again, we only have critical values coming from the top, and that will be at 0. And prior to 0, the top will be negative, the bottom is still going to be positive.
and after 0 the top will be positive and the bottom will still be positive. So we'll end up with f increasing on the interval from 0 to positive infinity and f will decrease from negative infinity up to 0. And again you could include the 0 if you so chose.